Right, so today we are open air printing, no enclosure, um, some ABS. This is Amazon Basics, they're black. Um, I actually like this, this filament. Um, their ABS, in my opinion, is way better than their PLA. Um, as you can see, I'm not really having any separation issues. On the left side here, there is a little defect right there. Uh, that's just on the inside. I don't know if it goes to the outside yet because I haven't looked at the back of the model. Um, this uh, residual plastic here is from a failed print from yesterday. I got about 20 layers up and it was mid-afternoon and really hot so my kids wanted the AC on. When I turned the air conditioner on, the uh, temperature in the room immediately made the ABS layer separate. So you wouldn't have that problem if you were um, printing in an enclosure, but I, of course, was not printing in an enclosed space um, because I had my Ender 3 here just kind of out in the open. So I had some issues, and I can show you what that print looks like, what happened to it. Um, that's the bottom there. Now, if you ever have, like, white, dusty stuff on your print after this, that's what a heat gun's for. You can just blast it real quick, um, and it just kind of goes back to shiny and flattens it out. Um, but you can see that I had a little bit of layer separation in the middle. Um, and that's basically where I turned on, let's see, this is the main part of the model. You can't really, right there. Um, and it's more apparent in the sides as they split apart. Um, you can see there was my layer separation. Um, so, fail, obviously, but uh, I know exactly why it failed. Today I woke up early, I started this print uh, about 9 o'clock, 9.30, um, specifically early to make sure that it wasn't going to be during the heat of the day when, when my kids want my air conditioner turned on. So, so far, the temperature variance in between the bed and the nozzle uh, is not enough to make the layers start cooling at an uneven rate uh, and as you can see I've gotten a lot higher than I did yesterday um, so the ambient temperature in the room is probably the most important factor in printing a good ABS print without an enclosure okay um, if you get a breeze across it from an open window or something it's very likely that it's going to expand and shrink and you're going to get layer separation um, so you, you kind of need a little bit more of a controlled environment than you do for normal PLA. Now, I've reviewed some Amazon filaments before, and like I said, I wasn't too impressed with their PLAs. Now, I will end up doing a review on this ABS. Um, like I said, so far I'm liking it, but I did just notice something that I didn't notice on the other spools, and that's this little bar here. Um, and it's not going to be an exact representation, uh, but if you look, it tells you based on how much is left on the roll, about how much, um, not only how many meters, but about how many grams are left too, which is really cool. Uh, something that should be included on every spool. Let's go back to the print now, we're almost done. Uh, Octoprint's telling me I got 10 minutes left, so. As you can see, still coming out nicely. I don't know what that little blob it is it left there, just there just now, but um, we're gonna be wrapping this print up here shortly and we will let it cool off and we'll take it off the bed and we'll check out our first successful open air ABS print on the Ender 3. All right, so here it is, our finished open air ABS print. Uh, we need to let it cool down a little bit and then we can take it off the bed. Uh, I'm going to go over here, turn on my light so you can see a little better. Uh, I have another camera running in the other direction and I don't want to blind it. So um, if you look, you can see that it's come out pretty clean. Um, not really any, any deformation. Um, there's a little crack there. I just noticed that in the back. That's from separation of layers. Uh, rapid cooling and contracting. And it looks to be doing it here as well. Um, wouldn't have those issues if we were in an enclosure, most likely. 
Um, and then I thought this was layer separation here, but that's actually, um, that's not a groove. That's, uh, that layer is a little fat, so it's sticking out. So, um, not too shabby. I am a big fan of this ABS so far. Um, and like I said, I normally I'm not a big fan of Amazon stuff, so, uh, we'll check out a couple more prints in it, and then I'll get you an actual review. But for right now, I'm just having fun printing the ABS on my Ender 3D.